grassroots pantry was um, literally an idea that came about when uh, my background and also what my career uh, line was during the time in 2011 um, led me to a place where I decided I wanted to mold both food and beverage as well as my passion for uh, sustainable agriculture and food politics together. So. Um, I decided that I would open a cafe that would teach people about healthier versions of foods and uh, how to create delicious plant-based dishes. I love to travel, so where I generally get my inspiration from um, is through traveling and um, I always go to places where I've never been before and you know, stroll the markets and try something new. Um, so generally that's where I get it from. Also, um, childhood memories. So a lot of our dishes, as you see, is uh, uh, multicultural and it's really the types of dishes that I've tried before and I want to recreate it into something that is fully plant-based and wholesome. Definitely have to come with um, human and people because we're in such a face-to-face um, -face industry, whether it's face-to-face -face with customers, as well as um, your staff, employees, your stakeholders. So it's quite tough because you're always dealing with human emotions. Uh, so staffing could be an issue uh, most of the time, um, especially when you're a female entrepreneur. So that is something that uh, you have to hold your gun and uh, fight through. You're bound to see a lot of competitors coming through or new entrants coming through. Um, so how do we stay relevant is through creating new dishes constantly. We're always on the press. We always have some form of content to um, show for what we're doing, um, but always with integrity. And uh, we're always collaborating and doing pop-ups here and there. Um, we challenge chefs, Michelin star chefs, to also cook plant-based. Um, so this is one of the way um, and then also introducing new ingredients. Um, this season I would say it's a, a parbadeli um, because it's very much inspired by my trip to Bhutan using the buckwheat uh, pasta and then to create something that is so savory, savory I love marinara sauce, I love arabiata pasta so like that's just something that I wanted to incorporate and then as well to incorporate our raw food techniques so you know creating the shiitake bacon as well as the cultured cashew cheese uh, both of that and you know ties it all together it was for animals Asia um, two years back we did their uh, 350 person scala dinner um, and uh, it was quite interesting because the, it was there was a huge rainstorm that day and we were our kitchen was set up outside there were about 50 floor staff and 20 kitchen staff and uh, just to execute that uh, dinner or wake up looking forward to come to work and looking forward to seeing my team um, we all give in so much and so much time and energy so it's just really great to bond in that way um, and of course to see my customers happy. We have about five pop-ups that's lined up right now and that includes me being away so going to different countries. Um, and uh, we're working on a new menu soon, so uh, again seasonal. And um, I'm also working on a cookbook soon. <laughs> and then also we're planning on global domination. <laughs>